Are you looking for a home in Marietta with tons of neighborhood amenities? Right at the top of the list is master plan community called Spencer's Crossing, which is located on the northeast side of town. I'm going to tell you all about this highly desirable community and we are starting right now. Hi, I'm Jessica Janung with Active Realty and I'm a realtor here in Marietta, California. If you are thinking about moving to Marietta, please click the link below down in the description to download my relocation guide. It has all sorts of great information to help you get to know the area and it's available for immediate download. Welcome to the beautiful 600 acre master plan community of Spencer's Crossing, which is located in East Marietta right off Winchester Road. This community has it all, walking trails, a 3,500 square foot recreational building, two gorgeous swimming pool areas, including a kiddie pool, spas, barbecue areas, multiple playgrounds, and a huge lighted sports park. The HOA has multiple fun community events throughout the year where you can get to know your neighbors. I'll post a link down below in the description where you can check out all the happenings that are going on at Spencer's Crossing. Spencer's Crossing was established in 2007, so there are existing homes available for purchase, resales as we call it in the business, and there is also quite a bit of new construction going on as well as we speak. There are multiple new construction builders to choose from. Over by where they're currently building, there is another awesome huge pool area called the Oasis, which we will be showing you in our upcoming Spencer's Crossing new construction video. Um, but in today's video, we're only going to be showing you the existing home area, the resales, um, and the original pool and amenities uh, for now in the interest of time so we don't have a 30 minute long video. But keep an eye out for our next Spencer's Crossing video because all the residents have access to both pools. This area is still growing as we continue to see folks moving here because of the affordability and all the amenities. Let's take a look at an example of a home for sale in the neighborhood. This is my broker's listing and the property is owned by Zillow. My brokerage, Active Realty, sells all of Zillow's properties in Riverside County currently. Okay, so here we are outside of a single story here at the end of a cul-de-sac. You can see it's got a very long driveway. This is on a huge lot actually. I think it's about 0.3 acres. So you come down the driveway, you have two car garage. We have cute shutters in front on the windows. Coming in into the entryway, you can see all the way through out to the huge backyard. Down this hallway on the left, you have three of your bedrooms and one full bathroom. Continuing on, you have a very large great room with fireplace, ceiling fan, media nook, very large kitchen, lots of space for seating you could probably seat about at least four bar stools there i would say stainless steel appliances nice custom backsplash down this hallway is where you have your laundry room and the entrance to the garage and as well as your master bedroom your master bedroom has a ceiling fan and the window overlooks the large backyard and you've got a huge soaking tub, separate shower, dual sinks, and this very large walk-in closet. So here we are walking out into the backyard. Again, huge backyard, very flat, usable space. I mean, you could put like three swimming pools out here if you wanted. <laughs> Um, you already have a very nice long Aluma wood patio cover, which are very low maintenance, very popular in this area with two built-in ceiling fans and lights. And it looks like they put in a little half basketball court as well. All these great amenities need funding to be built and maintained somehow. The HOA for the home that we just toured is 128 per month as an example of the HOA fees in the community, which I think is a great value in my opinion for everything that you get. Let's talk about a couple of things about Spencer's Crossing that I'm not so crazy about. We make these videos to give you the full picture about the neighborhoods, not just to make an attractive advertisement. 
The first thing that folks are not so crazy about is the property taxes in Spencer's Crossing. They are on the high side. You are going to have your normal California base tax rate of about 1.1%, but you are also going to have additional special assessments and those can be as much as around $4,000 per year, uh, depending on the exact property. Let's break that down a little bit more. Using a real example of a current listing in Spencer's Crossing of 442,000, the approximate 1.1% tax rate is going to be a little over $4,800 per year. In addition to this, you're gonna have about $3,700 in special assessments, which makes about $8,600 in property taxes per year. So this is about $715 per month. You're gonna to wanna to plan on approximately a 2% tax rate in Spencer's Crossing. Um, and that is typical for the newer neighborhoods in the area. If it is important to you to keep your property taxes lower, you are going to want to look at the older neighborhoods. And in a lot of those neighborhoods, you can get closer to the 1%, the low, the low 1%. Also worth mentioning is that although your Spencer's Crossing address will say Marietta, my understanding is that it's located outside of the incorporated city limits. Therefore, the school district is not Marietta School District, but instead it's zoned for Menifee and Paris Union, which typically have lower grade schools rating than Marietta currently. But with that being said, Paris Union is building a brand new high school, which will be called Liberty High, and supposedly that will be the new high school for Spencer's Crossing. Uh, last I heard, Liberty High, it is scheduled to open in August of 2021. Um, that's what I've heard and been reading. Spencer's Crossing is located nearby shopping centers, restaurants, and it's only a few miles from Lake Skinner, which is home to the Temecula Valley famous balloon and wine festival. We love taking our kids to Lake Skinner where there is lots to do, things like uh, camping and fishing, boating, kids playgrounds, including quite a nice and large splash pad. Um, it is also near a side entrance to wine country. I would say from Spencer's Crossing that it would take you about 15 minutes to get to the side entrance of uh, Temecula Wine Country. Also, the Clinton Keith Road extension project is finally finished. So this is going to link Spencer's Crossing to the 215 freeway. So now it has very easy freeway access. Previously, you had to travel down very busy streets such as Myriad Hot Springs and Winchester that have a lot of traffic and signals. And so now that the Clinton Keith project is finally finished, it is a million times better. Well, that wraps up this video neighborhood tour and thanks so much for watching. Keep an eye out for my next Spencer's Crossing video, which is going to be highlighting the new construction details. And don't forget to subscribe to be sure that you don't miss out on any of our new videos, which we publish every week. Bye.